I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. He's getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. And he's taken down at the 25. And they make the stop at the 40-yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. Runs it right. Nice pickup. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want none. They don't want none of this. That brings him second in Makes it out to about the 43. Call it a gain of 12 yards. First down. From the 43 yard line, it's first down. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. down at the 44. They don't get back to the line of scrimmage there on the option keeper. A loss of one. That makes it so Tackle at the 42. They couldn't get the first down. Well, here they were hoping to get a few extra yards after the catch. Give the defense credit. They held him short. It's fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Auburn is looking to go up by three. It has the distance, and he hooked it left. Well, sometimes when you see a kick like that, the kicker is trying to compensate for a factor, maybe like the wind, and he thinks he can hook it back in. It didn't happen that time. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Gets it, he's in space. And he's tackled at the 48. <laughs> On the run, right side. Bumble, loose ball. Now the defense has it, the safety. That's a great tackle, the 42 yard line. That mistake will cost this offense possession of the ball. And this young safety was right there to pick up the fumble. Huge break for the defense. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. So after the review, they reverse the call on the field. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. Decides to slide. Catches it, gets out of bounds. 
They get about four yards on the pass, and they'll pick up the first down. Nothing special here. Quick pass and a good catch, but it keeps the chains moving. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. He takes it right side for a good game. Throne, it's almost picked. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Tackle made at the two. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. run and a score by the halfback and a nice call by the coach there just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line he splits the uprights with the extra point so an eight play 51 yard drive and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Ole Miss's defense is playing lights out right now and pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, it just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they could shut this offense out. Fires out to his wideout, and down he goes at the 29. That makes it second and six. Makes it to the 37. That makes it first and 10. Throws incomplete, broken up. From their own 37 yard line, second down. Back has it, and he dropped it. Number eight was his intended receiver. That brings us third and ten. Dumps it complete over the middle. He's taken down right around the 44-yard line. Marshall is waiting for the snap. Oh, excellent punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Rebels really taking care of business early in this football game. Yeah, somebody forgot to tell them that they're the big underdog in this game, and they're supposed to lose. I love their confidence that they're playing with right now. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Ole Miss is up seven. Got a man. Watch out here. They'll bring him down around the 32-yard line. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he is drilled to 39 yard line. Makes it to the 44. Right, right, right. 
Quick throw. He's got space to work, and he's taken down at about the five-yard line. That's a D on the play. That makes it second. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Hey, that's good. That's good. Green nine. And he's immediately tackled. Quick out to his receiver. Touchdown, Mississippi. And he hits the PAT. An eight-play, 79-yard drive. And it results in a touchdown. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Fires that quickly incomplete. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open and everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it, and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball and was incomplete. Deep to return the punt. Moore fields it at the 26. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He goes downtown. In the air, it's intercepted. And they make the stop at the 50. Brad, not only a huge interception to get the football back and maybe have a chance to get back into this game, but this could really change momentum. You can see the players and how they're responding down there on the sideline about how excited they are to get the football back and have a chance to put points on the board. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Ready? Run, run. Dumps it out left to the running back. Brought down at the 37-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Auburn! And he 
tacks on the extra point. A four play 49 yard drive and it's good for seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Rebels' offense normally predicated with the ground game, but today it's the passing game that's working it's for been, It's been a big surprise, Brad. I mean, we all expected to see this star running back have a big game, but it's been nice to see the versatility of this offense and see this passing game step up. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll make it 77. Ole Miss is up by a touchdown. Makes it out to about the 40. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Knocked out of bounds around the 46 yard line. Around the 45 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Caught out of the open. And he's tackled at around the 38 yard line. That'll make it second and four. up the middle he tackles him for a loss you can't teach instinct the ability to know where a play is going is something this safety has that was a terrific effort third down and they need to get it down to the 35 throws Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. That is money in the bank. Sometimes you just can't stop a good combination. And this play is number eight on the drive. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. After review, they decided that the call on the field will stand. Ole Miss up seven points. Runs it left for a decent game. And he keeps it on the option play and picks up six. It's the ninth play of the drive. They come out in an empty backfield. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. So we're looking at another third down here. Steps up in the pocket. Zips it to the back. He's pushed out of bounds at the 11-yard line. It's the 11th play of the drive. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. And the defense just picked up their second interception of the game. This defense has really been in sync during the first half. If they keep this up, it'll be a long day for this offense. First and 10, ball on the 13. hit immediately. Get to that quickly. Shivers. Gains about four yards there. The Tigers will use their first time out of the half. Ah! 
slings it out and it gets tipped. Third down, six to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. He gets to about the 27-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. He's got it with room to run. And he hits him hard at the 33-yard line. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Makes it to the 41. That's good for a gain of eight yards. First down. Slings it. He's tackling at about the 49. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. He unloads it. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 13. That makes it first and 10. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. And they hit him in the backfield. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. This is the 11th play of this drive. And they push him out at the six-yard line. This isn't much more than an extra point. The kick is up, and he got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's tackled at the 19. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Ole Miss is up by four. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 19. We've played a half. Ole Miss leads 14-10. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I love this first half. Two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If, if you got to a, a certain number of points, the game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So when you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. And, and the offense on the other side, you know what you got, too. You don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't going to kill you. I got a dominant side of the football, play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. 
That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Ole Miss holds a four-point lead. Here's the halfback. He takes it right side for a good game. Makes the first down catch. Run up the middle. Makes the set to go. That's a gain of four on that play. That'll make it second to seven. Go, kill it! Here we go, check it out. Check the ball. Go, go. Nice run, and he's brought down. With the run. Gain of six on the play. Third down. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Tackle made around the 43 yard line. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. Brown is the punter. Tackle at the 21 yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. That's a deep number. On the ball, on the ball, on the ball. That brings up second and one. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start, offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. From their own 25-yard line, second down. They'll bring him down at the 33. Good hook up there. They get an eight-yard gain and a first down. Great look from the quarterback to find his receiver and make the quick throw for the new set of downs. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's taken down at the 38-yard line. They get five yards on the play. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it, and they keep moving the defense back. He fights forward to about the 40. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of seven on the play. First down. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And down he goes at the 44. Call it a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. He's on the run. And now he's going to improvise. Slides down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Now he tries to buy some time. Check, 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 check
motion, motion, motion. Quick pass, and he's taken down right around the 26-yard line. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. Inside the 10, he gets to about the five. Brad, I think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas for an offense. Third down conversions and red zone offense. And right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third downs. That's the second time they've been able to get up. And a nice move to finish it off. Touchdown. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 27. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And they make the stop around the 28-yard line. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. From their own 29-yard line, it's third down. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. The Tigers saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Brown is waiting for the snap. Oh, excellent punt. And he's tackled at the 37-yard line. The Rebels have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped. Intercepted. He throws. Brought down at about the 43-yard line. That is exactly the kind of play you want to see from a safety. He needs to be able to read the play and then make the interception. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. They'll knock him down for a loss. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. That brings up second and 13. Gets it, but steps out and will lose yards. And that's it for quarter number three. Folks, we got a great game on our hands. 17-14, Tiger. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. That's a huge, huge stop here in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. They're going to get the football back, but there's still a lot of ball left. That'll make it fourth and 14. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
Question now in a one-possession game, can they make it a two-possession game? They've got a chance to put this thing out of reach. Auburn has a three-point lead. And he's tackled at the 14-yard line. We've got second and long. Ball on the 14-yard line. Tackle at the 27-yard line. That's a game of 13 on the way. Third down. He's to the 40. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. Game of 13 yards. First down. 18, 18. Come on, I'm on. Makes it out to maybe the 40 yard line. No that makes it second and 10. I hope you brought your left because I'm about to take you to school. Hey, watch your That's a great tackle at the 32. That's a loss of 80 yards. So another third down here, and this time it's third and long. Fires it out. He's to the 40. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. That makes it so Moore is back deep to return. He really got a hold of that one. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Complete. He's got room. Tackle made around the 27-yard line. Release tight end incomplete. From their own 27 yard line, it's third down. Just under three to go in regulation. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. Brown to punt. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Inside handoff. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. is going to take their first time out of the hat. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. 
He's taken down at the 38. Not much there on the screenplay. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards. But the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. Got the corner. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. The Rebels, coaching staff, and the entire team knows that this is the guy that can win it for them. But the offense has to find a way to get the football into the hands of this running back, whether it's a, a simple toss sweep or maybe a ball out of the backfield where he can catch it in space. Any way that they can get the football to him to see if he can spring one to maybe get the field goal range or who knows, maybe take it to the house. And he is drilled at the 33-yard line. Just over a minute left. Spikes the ball. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on their own 33. Just a tremendous job on that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. Good open field tackle. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Number Black 10, five, Black five. Five. At the 49 yard line. The spike will stop the clock. That makes it third and Third and long here. Let's see what the offensive coordinators come up with. And this quarterback needs a conversion here. On the ground, inside. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. So a fourth down stop there late in the fourth quarter, and that should do it. So not a lot of time left, and they've got an opportunity right now, if they score, to put the nail in the coffin in this game. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Ole Miss will take their final timeout. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. That's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one, 17-14, Auburn. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.